I've always liked to write. And so one night in a writing seminar, I heard a little voice. It's my turn. Tell them my story. I ignored it. Then I heard it stronger. It's my turn. Tell them my story. It was Judy. I had written about so many other things, but I had never written about her. The girl I used to be wants me to tell you her story, and so I am. This is Judy's story. boys are heading out the door to school and I have to, oh, I have to make my lunch, peel the veggies, do the dishes, set the table and somehow get myself ready for work. I'm tired. I'm tired of them. I'm tired of me. I'm tired of doing it all. Oh no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Don't creep up on me like that. I can't panic now. I can't panic now. Years after my breakdown, I met a wonderful doctor, and he said something that changed the course of my recovery, if not the course of my life. He said, depression is not a disease of the mind. Depression is sadness of the soul. Sadness of the soul. Someone was talking my language. By taking that one step back, I had chosen to live. I had chosen to live. <laughs>